In today's video, we're going to show you how to delete a brand account on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. What's up everybody, my name is Noble and I make tutorials. I absolutely love making tutorials and in today's video, as I said, we are going to delete a brand account. So let's jump right into it and head on over to your YouTube channel. Now in order to do this, you need to go to your icon. Make sure that you're on your brand account. Obviously, do not delete uh, a wrong channel. If you delete it, you will lose all the progress that you've made. But some people may have brand accounts for testing or may have accidentally made some and you just want to get rid of them. So that's what we're going to show you how to do right now. So on your YouTube channel, make sure that you have your correct icon. Make sure you're signed into the right brand account that you want to delete. First and foremost, this is very important. I cannot stress this enough. And then click on that icon. Now, once you're there, scroll down to settings and that's going to bring you to this page. We are once again, 100% sure that we are signed into the right brand account. Again, this is the most important thing. Do not screw this up. And uh, from here, we're going to go to channel managers and click add or remove managers. Now from here, if you had managers and stuff like that, you could add some, remove some, change permissions and stuff like that, but we're going to delete the channel. So this says delete your brand account. You can permanently delete your brand account and all of its services in data. Once again, I'm good. this is the third time. Make sure you're signed in and are deleting the correct brand account. So once you've confirmed that, click on delete. And that's going to bring you to this page here. Obviously, your email is going to be right around here somewhere. Mine's uh, closed off. You guys don't need to know that, but you're going to need to enter your password. So let me enter mine real quick. And then once you've got your password in there, click next. Now, once again, this is very important information. It says, please read this carefully. It is not usual yada, yada, yada. Are you sure you want to delete your channel? You may not be able to recover all of this account's data if you change your mind. You can transfer ownership, which is a thing that you can do with brand accounts, and we'll cover that in a different video, instead of deleting it. If you delete this account, managers will not be able to access it, obviously because the account will not exist anymore. All this content will be deleted, and then it tells you what you're deleting. So right now, the only thing that I've got tied to this brand account is a, a YouTube channel. The associated channel will be deleted. If you have any pending financial transactions, you will be responsible for those charges, which is uh, anything that you might be subscribed to with that channel or any premium services that you might have with that channel. So it says, yes, I acknowledge that I am still responsible for any charges. You guys get the idea. And then, yes, I want to permanently delete this account and all of its data. So once you've clicked those, once again, last time, I promise, once you are sure that this is the account that you want to delete, go ahead and click delete account. Now, if you go to deleted accounts, it does seem like you may be able to revert it, but I don't want to, and I'm not going to check that out because I don't really care about it. Like I said, the main point of this video is to delete a brand account. So we are actually good. So now whenever we go back to YouTube, let me go ahead and head there. We need to sign back in because we were signed out of the brand account that we were signed into. And you guys will see that we only have my main account, which is my email address that is tied to my YouTube channels. And then my main YouTube channel, the other brand account that we did have is now gone. So we're going to sign into my main account because that is what I use for my channel. And uh, we can still go and check that stuff out. So that's the way you delete a brand account. Once again, if you are doing it, make sure that you're deleting the right one. I will not be held responsible if you accidentally delete the wrong brand account, but I just wanted to put this out there because I think it's important to know how to do all these things. So if you found this video useful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you on the next video.